Yo, what's going on, guys? So, me and my friend are gonna be reacting to Rousey's the movie 2 the release date for the game will be in the video. I know right now it premieres in 11 hours. I'm just making the intro very early, as I did for the thumbnail as well. Make sure to go check out my friend's channel in the description of the video. Please let me know what y'all think of the Rousey's movie 2 in the comments. Let's get into it. 15 seconds until it starts. Let's do this. Two years in the waiting for the release date, and it's finally here. Come on. Oi. I see a bunch of bloody wankers and some cunts in this chat. Well, um, surprise, are we? Sit down. Let's have us a little chat, mate. It's been a while, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, take your time. You over there spamming W in the chat, I see you, mate. Yeah, the Rel C's effect is real. Peak C's, my friends. Peak fucking bloody C's. Spam peak C's in this chat right fucking Like, now. what even is going on? How nice really getting some the like... Rel brothers to step a little way to the side and let Rel Lush stuff. do their job. They truly are just the best brothers on this shit of a platform, huh? We'll have ourselves a die fucking bollical video. Now pay attention. Yeah. We'll go over the release date. Progression. Combat changes. Class system and perks. Character progression. Combat potential system. Talent expansion. Uh, boss <coughs> system. And hockey progression. We'll have a few extra content on the side. But hey, we got bloody fucking hockey, mate. Let's discuss the release date, yeah. Before I tell you about a fucking release date. I know some of you wankers are a bunch of impatient little cunts. Whoa. Nothing Calm will down. satisfy the mass. And not That's to true. mention the game's fucking free mate. These good brothers. Done spent true. their time and money making this piece of art for you all. Obviously for their own gains. But a free to play, non pay to win game nonetheless. So listen up, yeah. December for the public. Closed community early October. Now wait, cheers, man. December for the public. Game nonetheless. So listen up, yeah. December. December for the public. For the public. Closed. Co Closed community early October. Holy shit. So does this mean YouTubers and stuff will be able to test the game early October? Kind of crazy if that's the case. Community early October. Now cheers, mate. And Let's get December on with this die. For fucking bollocks. Public, which honestly, movie. that's what I was expecting for. <laughs> Let's get into the actual one movie now. What if it's going on? I'm Jack Sp Sparrow. My soul is stuck inside this bird, but anywho, I'll help you if you help me. Savvy? Ah, uh, struggling a bit, are we? I keep fiddling with that lock. This has got to be the you beginning of the game, right? then, right? Then shimmy left and right. This is crazy. down sneak up on that dummy like a shadow in the night and give it a good whack um
stuff take that off there. Still running about like a landlubber? Hold that crouch button to sly with style. Drew pirate on deck. While running, it activates parkour mechanics. Oh shit, the parkour is going to be so good. Look out, danger on your left. It's Big Boss Man. I'm Big Boss Man. Now then, defense is looking a bit weak. Hold that button to block, or give it a quick tap to parry. Timing is everything, Savvy. The UI looks the same, so it doesn't look like they revamped that. In right hands gives you a slight iframe whilst front and back. But yeah, there's this. No iframe. But yeah, this has got to be like the beginning of the game. Damn. This looks really good so far. Where's it going now? I'm gonna fight a lion. Well then, this one's all yours, mate. I prefer my creatures with fewer legs and less bones. I mean, the boss fights are really cool and everything, but like, kind of boring to watch. But then again, they're just trying to show like, what's actually going on. Just come say, a lot of people a little bit bored, a lot of people are slow, a lot of rage, but... Listen mate, do you exit, the tutorial turn the lever until the gate opens. Savvy? Okay, I think we're done now. Rel Seas has been through a long journey. It's now a year and a couple of months into development. The game has changed so much since being officially worked on. We thought we wouldn't work on another game after Shinobi Life 2, but that itch, that very itch of creativity, of what could be. We are nearing the end of our journey. A new journey will start. A journey in which we both as a community play this game. The game is very close. Extremely close to being real. Oi. Okay. Before I get all sappy on you, first, you're a cunt for rushing us. Perfecting something takes time and consistency. Second, 
We have a lot more content to go over with you. Let's start with maps, shall we? Unfortunately, we don't have Hades Asylum fully functional for you all in this video. But hey, here is a little sneak peek of it and some additional maps we are working on. As you know, time was spent re-optimizing and fixing collisions on a lot of maps. It's nearly completed with its build. Let me take you on a journey and explore some of the builds in Rel Seas. Each floor is its unique instance within the game. The new Hades Asylum will have a fully functional elevator system. Each floor will have its own unique biomes, game modes, and puzzles. Mm. A part of the progression will involve this universe. Bloody hell. Did you know we even have a Rel Seas Gulag concept in Impel Down? I mean, That'll Hades cool. Asylum. Fun fact. Both enclosed communities and RPG high-ranking Marine officials will be able to operate the elevator system. Marines will capture an escort or release NPC players from their cells. Okay. Right now, a lot of focus is on getting these maps done so we can implement cutscenes additions for the events. Let me show you some sneak peeks of other maps we are working on. One includes Dress Rosa. This is Damn. Rilati, a fully decked out boat, restaurant, and trading ground from top to bottom. Bloody hell, you can even enter the tower. Pretty smart. I think if there's like one area to meet to trade all the players, that would be way better than like, for example, in GPO where you have to go to the universe hub and then go to the trading hub. Just way more immersive, you know? This map, Olden Shell, is a work in progress. The town is being built and there are some hidden caves below. Every single one of our maps has detailed interiors for lots of exploration, which also ties into the adventure decks. Ever wondered what a sky bar Rati would look like? Well, located Ooh. just a wee bit north of Skypea, you have a little floating restaurant. Coming up with some good concepts here. Right now, now, some islands have to be rebuilt from top to bottom. A lot of people scammed us of work. We've had to personally redo a lot of work when it comes to building. I feel bad for new developers out there. Be careful who you hire. Or you'll have to redo everything yourself. Events become active when a player enters the proximity of the event. Events randomize on certain areas of the map. In the Adventurer decks, you'll be able to see the quality of life of a certain part of the map. Quality of life dictates where events Happen. Let me sneak okay. you a bit of gameplay progression. I know some of you are visual learners. I'll visualize it just for you lads. In Rel Seas, there are over 40 in-game pirate factions you'll encounter. Each faction has its unique lore and guess bloody what. Multiple bosses and mesh to form bosses in-game events. That's happen. actually so cool. And so within those in-game events, in you build Now, they'll probably be a little bit different mobs. for copyright, though. We've been mass-producing a lot of events, and cutscene work is going to be a pain in the ass. This is the original cutscene that got leaked. Damn. Worth it. The 40 pirate crews appear in a variety of game events. Some game events include camp event, pirate dock event, war event, raid event dock, and village raid event. Say you want to build your character in a certain way. Say Whoa. two of these in-game crew got in a bloody scuffle. Who you decide to side with or even remain neutral can affect your character's build and progression. Oh, mm. you think we just have land events? We have bloody sea events too! Cargo ship protection, cruise ship wars, ghost ship events, marine warships event that spawns different Holy admirals, the legendary shit, ship events, sea beast sea hunt events, sea events beast battle events. You think we only have what the sea events? Are saying too. We have underwater sea events and exploration. However, this is still a work in progress, and we've just begun our quest to work on it. We'll show you some of the submarine features instead. 
A and D to turn. When Most people not are, battle mode. you know, saying R W. To start engine. Ooh, G submarine. battle mode. Left mouse button or attack for machine gun. X for sonar. Oh my god. Mouse turns the ship in battle mode. W A S D to control ships in battle mode. I'm so like the adventure for the decks stuff. you've seen earlier, we have multiple talents that are expanding on for progression. This includes your fishing decks, which holds a list of fish you've caught, your recipe decks, all in-game meals you learn to make, which gives you XP and money. Mm. The adventure decks, explained already. Craftsman decks, everything material related you've collected. We are going to re-showcase the fishing talent. The entire system got remade. The controls now work on your left and right mouse button. A more cleaner design as well. All you have to do is keep it hovering over the fish, it looks like. And if you don't, then it's gonna get away, I think. Oh, bait's dwindling. Savvy. The Dexes wasn't the only addition. If you back and compare how fishing was to now, you'll see big improvements in quality. Whilst we give you a break to take in the content, in the next clips, We'll be going over the combat system, class system, and combat potential system, and how those affect boss fights, and even your bloody progression. After you've fully understood the levels at which Rel Seas stand, we'll showcase some boss fights. Finally, last but not least, Haki! Haki, finally. I mean, fishing's cool and everything. Like, I'm still gonna do it, but like, watching it, not be like less boring but it seems a lot more intuitive than how they used to have it which i like now that's a fish worthy of a captain's table yeah, that's way better, right? we are going to witness nice. a tier four difficulty you can hear one of the brother almost wanting to break his keyboard <laughs> Jenny fish is kind of hard now, no? actually i'm doing it but like holy fuck you know it, it's impossible being bad at your own system kind of crazy not gonna lie but hey, this is impossible got it that's impossible what the fuck I was a big decrease in difficulty on that. I can't imagine what the comments are saying are gonna be good. I mean, I gave, but it, it, it got to like fucking 10. Yeah, I'm fishing. So fucking, I don't even know. <laughs> I mean, I don't necessarily blame people, like, I don't think we need a five minute, or we'll, we'll, we'll say like two to three minutes <laughs> of them fishing, fish. mainly just because we get it. Right. You fish, I'm sure there's certain fishing areas that are better than others. Um, Savvy catch, mate. A true pirate's catches. prize. But we Enjoy don't need the to be sitting here watching all that. Take it all in, lads. We listen to all your feedback about combat. We are about to explain some complex changes. Make sure you are using your noggings. It may look simple, but it'll get complex. There is a learning curve. Each M1 is unique in its own way. There is no more keyframe restrictions. If you are on the ground using heavy, it will remain horizontal. Jump and heavy lets you control directional movement. A more grounded combat. A new game mechanic, using heavy in M1's turn into a grab throw. The grab can be directional, and you can toss your opponents onto other players. A new vertical down tilt, we just coded this a couple of days ago. No sound effects. A new dash mechanic. Left and right dashes are on the same cooldown. Front and back dashes are on the same cooldown. Left and right has iframe. Jeppo jumps reduced to a maximum of three. This game isn't jumping base. Did y'all just see me hit a Ronaldo? Like, what do they even say? Strong spec is a block breaker. However, strong slows down the closer you get to your enemy. They have time to parry you. Now for my favorite, my little handy knife. There are no more keyframe restrictions on any weapons. Combat feels a lot smoother. You can have fast-paced M1s and slow your M1s. You can slow your M1s? Also, a new animated effect on slicing. Look at my slowed M1s, and when I speed them up, it feels a lot smoother without animation restrictions. Bloody hell, did you notice the textured cloaks and clothing? The quality and improvement is being leveled up every day! Very true, very true. You can't run backwards using ASD. You can only run forward using W with A and D. Hey, what?
using W. You can't run backwards using ASD. You can only run forward using W with A and D. Um, I don't know what that necessarily means, but okay. Better reaction for parrying. You can see them slow down only a tiny bit before coming in. Hitting parry is much easier. Okay. So I wonder to get your parry bar. Or just when you first customize a character, you pick a weapon class along with a stat trait. That weapon is your class. The benefit of picking that weapon, or as we call it, class, it gives you the benefit of grinding less. That class weapon can replace abilities from a similar weapon type. Say you have a grade A dagger from all your experience. You can take any new drop within that class. Oh, it's just a little neat concept. Now we'll go through the combat potential system. We got the inspiration for this system from Hell Divers 2. Ooh. And we expanded on it with some of our ideas. We wanted something similar to a class system, but progression-wise. You build your combat system with interchangeable components. The poster image on your screen is our wanted poster, but I was like, hey, it would look cool being equipped as a skill. You can learn skills like these from the 40 crews in the game. Also, through the talent system. Example, the adventurer decks, boss drops, dungeon drops, that's and in-game events. This is the normal dash. Now let's take a look at the flash dash. Flash dash is based on the six powers, six technique fighting style. Hmm. So I wonder if like six pass fighting style is like just another word for Roku. This is regular heavy and let's compare it to faster power. I want to show you one of my personal favorites, M1 God. Oh yeah, that's, that's nice. Let's see what people are saying again. Okay, okay, I actually don't know, because we're like 40 seconds <laughs> behind. Have you heard of Sir Pitcher? He sure loves I keep going max, around. though. It's also direction, and it makes sense in this game. I guess I see why people would love to copy it. Now that you're the right the cut happen. and learned the combat All system, I see is random mark, beaters coming out. What do you think I'm going to use on bosses? Come on now, Weasel Face. It's quite obvious. Fierce posters that have to do with parrying and evading. Bosses okay. have different stages. Most have two, some have three stages. In those stages, the attack pattern changes. All right, we need the right jam to fight this boss, yeah? Hey, Rel. Play that one. Kaiju number eight song you got for the game. Sparrow's Saw. Elden Ring bosses type shit. Let's say I'm in. Couldn't they just pay someone to be a spokesperson? Holy. Hopefully this boss fight looks a little better. This better not be cooperated. I'm assuming this is AI made too. I'm not gonna lie. Music is but but it's gotta be AI. Bro, it, someone said in the comments that it is kinda like Elden Ring. Most people like it. Wow. 
I actually don't think the chat's lit because I think it goes off of what time you're in the video. Yeah, the boss fights are cool though. Oh, you got Berkey. You kinda low. Now, I'm assuming this is one of the easier bosses, but like... There's gonna be some hard bosses, I feel like, for this game. We're gonna skip a little bit forward. Okay, so this is Max. He's one shot, bro. Kill him already. There you go. But that was good. There was some. The lock-on system will be improved for smaller bosses. We made it for giants. Towards the end of this fight, when Katame slowly approached me, it kind of freaked me out. The movement is trippy with this one, especially at certain points when I get punished for being too aggressive. What we can improve on with this boss is making that close-range attacks track you a bit better. Rel, we need some Witcher music. Play toss a coin. I mean, chuck a rally. When a blimey bucko who was not a man, they gotta stop with this AI music, with bro. Relsies, paro, a vast year came this gentle. From when the peace was real, a young land lover, he was orphaned as a child until he eat a fruit of. Our fleet filled with scallywag, our planks has many holes, sparrow hands his black black, sailing with broken bones. These bosses look really easy to dodge. I don't know if it's just me. Is upon us. We raid for the lost souls, and so we pillage into ye hell. Everyone's saying turn off this music. We're saying it's our really to oh, no. your sparrow. Oh, see some bounty. Jack really I mean, he's just saying the same sparrow. thing over and over again, I think. Honestly, I thought they were going to give it the release at, like, the end of the, like, the premiere. Chuck, a rally, you fucking brokey. If you had an ounce of common sense, you'd empty your wallet and buy all my game pass. Oi. He's just playing, mate. Anyways, continue on with the show. We still have the best for last. Rip, kill this boss. See, like, they still need a new editor, bro. Like, they're just showing, like, too much. You know, I didn't think that was possible, but yeah, because these boss fight patterns are very like basic. I feel like, We're about to get and like, diabolical. that's not a bad thing. The show it's is just coming to an end, my friend. It's almost like a movie watching an the same thing over and over again without going anywhere. You won't have the spiritual but right away. I'm not hating. You'll need to go through character besides the video editing. Everything is early development. We had the idea of doing a class system for Haki for a while. This is conceptualized on the combat potential system. Okay, so there is earlier. families. 
This is another layer of class building. However, Bohemian this is using more of a hotkey mechanic. Instead of being built into the system, we even have a customizable hacky system from designs, placement, Ooh. and colors. Oh, Haki should be more than just a stat boost for full body Haki. We like customization. We'd rather look drippy and have it as a class building factor. Either way, it's stupid walking around with a neon dark brick covering your body. You will be able um, to go as creative as you want. You can go full highlighter. Oh, yeah, people wanted to see the Haki. The fruit power will never conquer the sea. Haki is the true power in this world. No matter what fruit you have, you'll always be beaten by the person who wields Haki. That's true. Here are some of the different Haki designs. Haki will be the most difficult thing to master. It lies dormant yeah. in everyone. Finding its secrets is I think I might go for a Haki build. Loki. You each will have your own unique way of mastering. But I feel like a lot of people are going to go for it. Randomized in every aspect. We will create a large amount of unique designs as well. We want it so that you are rarely seen wielding the same hockey design. Imagine a system Very cool. you can tailor to each individual, as well as its progression. Fun fact, changing the hockey colors changes four different components of color. Here, take a look at all the posters and their abilities. Observation abilities was named after world-renowned geniuses. Conqueror's abilities was named after famous conquerors. Armament abilities was named after knights. We're going to show you some of them. A lot of different upgrades maybe for like When hockey? someone with overwhelming strength approaches an island, that means to get the fuck out or I'll tell really you like Rel Aiden on a Monday night. The Tommy Dyson ability turns your evade into a counterpunch. We've maxed our evade so we can spam the move. New D, ton ability, turns your final M1 into a strong hockey punch. You have to press it at the last oh, second. that's cool. Uh, observation abilities allow you to see the other players evade, parry, health, energy, and abilities. It even uses Byakugan and Sharingan. Neji and Itachi would be so proud of us. I'll remove the posters one by one so you can see which one has these effects. So I wonder how you get these though. In Relsi's, Oppenheimer didn't just make a bomb. He also is good at dodging charges. Like Sweepy back in CC. How did he get away with it? There was 4K evidence and we just got it. I can't quite put my mind to it. Oh. This is the Oppy Heimer ability, by the way. I'm just really tired, mate. Say if you get knocked, if you have Geng Di Khan equipped, you'll subconsciously knock nearby opponents for 10 seconds and you won't be able to be gripped. Mate, you just must be wow. that guy, huh? Well, and everything. <laughs> what do you know about that Wi-Fi, Haki? My mum used to take away the Wi-Fi box from me. Now I'm gonna take away your zones. What? Whoa. He just disable his throat? W sweep, he dodging charges, I... I guess. I don't know who that is. Wi-Fi hockey. Lightning never strikes Holy twice, but Wi-Fi hacky does. Do you think we can get a Starlink x rail That is now? insane. If someone walked like this towards me... Mate, my hands would be off the keyboard. I think it's time to just Holy. give up, to be honest. Yeah! Just realize there are what? gaps in skills you'd never attain. Remember, you can't be mentally farmed if you're not mentally all there. Quote by Relbad. Um, that looks like crazy from far away, bro. Like, you would want to run fast.
Okay, so it looks like the movie was 40 minutes. I don't know. Is it going to be anything else? Refresh. And then it should be ready. Join our Discord on. at discord.gg. Here's the game. RLCs. Okay. Holy. Okay, well, I mean, let's just go over a few things in the movie, I guess, right now. Um... So for the tutorial, oh my god, I can't even talk right now. It was a little bit boring to watch, but it was still really interesting. Fishing, really cool. Definitely think they didn't need to show like three or four minutes of this, but I get it. It's a movie for a reason, but they need better editors, bear. Um, I'm pretty sure they're still editing it themselves from what I can tell. And they need a spokesperson, like the AI is not the move. But I think the best part of this right now is the showcase of the hockey. You're going to have customizable hockey, and now we still don't know how it fully works with like how you're going to be able to get conqueror's hockey but i'm assuming it's going to be something related to stats and also you can see that there's a bunch of different like different cards of families like god dzilla so for example you know like the d family but a bunch of dumb, different families with conquerors like hockey and then also the wi-fi hockey i think was like the best part of the video and the fact that you can disable like disable like zoans is just crazy yeah, it was it was pretty good. I just I wish the movie was a bit longer though, but they definitely need better editors. Um, see if we can get any like new comments. And for my people on YouTube, make sure to check out my streams. I'll be streaming a lot more often. Make sure to also join my Discord server in the description. And my friend was not be able to make it unfortunately, but also go sub subscribe to his, his channel. Please let me know what y'all think of the movie. I thought it was pretty good. Now to be fair, there was a little bit of disappointing things, but like I still think it was really good nonetheless. Um, definitely gonna be making more videos on real seas. I've kind of just mainly been holding off because there's a lot of content creators that just kind of post everything as soon as it comes out. But I'm probably gonna make a video on the real seas movie too of my life, the live stream, and also like some ideas for the game that we have might have in the future. But now we have an official release date. It's gonna be December for the public and October or uh, yeah, I think it was October for the close community. So I'm really looking forward to this, and let me know what y'all think. Y'all later.